Hello? Are we ready? You may be seated. So, many are ready. Yeah. Well, uh, a statement on the second Kamukunji protest, July 12, 2023. The second, second Kamukunji meeting got off to an excellent start and proceeded across the country. Kenyans have come out in their numbers in eastern, northeastern, coast, Nyanza, central, western, Rift Valley, and Nairobi. As we had said, Kenyans returned in the second wave of new masses, uh, in masses, on board in search for better life for themselves. People are determined to decide for themselves how they are going to, to shape their day to, to lives and now that they have been abandoned by their leaders. People have come out even in the most remote parts of the country to express their displeasure with the Ruto regime. The message is out loudly and clearly that Kenyans are tired. Watu wamechoka. Kenyans are tired. People are tired of new promises on top of old promises. People are tired of being ignored. People are tired of being told what to do and when to do it. People are tired of going to bed hungry, facing the new day hungry, and returning uh, to bed hungry. People are tired of walking from one corner of this city to another, one town to another, one office to another, trying to find a job and finding no job. Parents are tired and ashamed of returning home empty-handed in the evening after an all-day struggle to get something for their families. People are tired of economic and social stagnation they find themselves in. People are tired of rules and scurries everywhere whose sole purpose is to kick every coin we make and take it to Ruto as tax when we go home with nothing for our families. Unfortunately, our otherwise peaceful protest has been accompanied by injuries and possible deaths in various parts of the country. Police have shot, injured, and killed protesters in various parts of the country, including here in Nairobi. Scores of protesters have been arrested for participating in an exercise that is clearly protected by our constitution. As usual, it is the police maiming and killing people. Slowly, ours is degenerating into a police state. We must not allow it to happen to our country again. You have always said that these meetings remain peaceful until police decide to break them up with bullets and tear gas. On Monday, I was able to get into town, address Kenyans, and disperse peacefully without any injuries or deaths. This was because police did not try to break up the meeting. Yesterday, we were at Kenyatta Market. We were able to have lunch and hold impromptu meetings with the people that ended peacefully because there were no police. All our engagements are peaceful until the police show up. Late last night, we received intelligence of a most heinous plan by Kenya Kwanzaa to ferry armed goons 
who attacked peaceful attendees of a rally in Kamkunji. These goons had expressed orders to shoot directly into the crowded in the crowd while enjoying police protection. Early this morning, our crew who had been sent to set up the stage at Kamkunji were attacked and their equipment damaged. Some were arrested. In line with the intelligence we received, armed goons have this afternoon descended on Kamkunji grounds and shot indiscriminately into the crowd. Police have used water cannons to disperse those peaceably, peaceably assembled there. In order to protect our people and avert more injury and loss of lives, we have taken the strategic decision not to proceed with the rally at Kamkunji grounds this afternoon. In any case, the police have made the point. We take this opportunity to thank Kenyans for taking up our call to fight for ourselves. This struggle is not about Azimio or any party in particular. This is, not, is now about Kenyans refusing to move on until they get a good deal. We agree with them. This time around, there's no moving on until Ruto shows a readiness to listen to and respect the people. People deserve a deal, not bullets and tear gas. Kenyans clearly understand that if they let Ruto get away with his present display of disrespect, dictatorship and contempt for people will try to get away with many other bad things. Kenyans understand that suffering will be the new normal if Ruto gets away with the Finance Act and the many other dictatorial political and policy decisions he's currently pursuing. So there is no moving on until Ruto comes out openly and agrees to repeal the Finance Act and embark on other measures to lower the cost of living. There is no moving on until Ruto comes out loud and clear the need to have a bipartisan deconstitution of IBC, reinstatement of the, the, the fired IBC commissioners, until he commits to respect and stops interfering with other political parties. The fight for multi-party and a new constitution was so painful, so deadly, and so costly that it could not have been in vain. We did not fight for a new constitution and multi-party only for Ruto to take us back to the 1980s. Kenyans will not accept it. It will be trial by fire many times, but we have been through trial by fire before. So we soldier on. As Kenyans, you have a duty to liberate ourselves as we have always done. It has never been easy. It will not be easy, but it has to be done. <laughs> With the unity and commitment, we will force Ruto to give Kenyans a good deal. We will shortly communicate the third wave and the next course of action. With the unity, we shall overcome. <laughs> Any question? I think the statement is uh, elaborate and uh, members of the press I think that's enough for us.
Foi me tocando. Não acontecia muito antes. Não foi me tocando, aprendia a mãe. Não acompanha a irmã e a mãe. Meu irmão, a minha honra de Deus. A de funda e a tenha de choca. A minha de tocando, a minha de quinta mãe. Tanto as outras a tenha. A minha de tocando. Eu me conheço. Tahiri Shairi ya kwamba wako tiari kutikia vito wetu ya kuona ya kwamba Kenya inarudi kwenye msingi bora ya utawala Kenya wameona mengi zaidi karama meisha imepanda zaidi watu wanaumia karama ya matibabu imepanda kare ya shule imepanda Nauli imepanda. Bei ya chakula hata unga na kadhalika zote zimepanda. Kwa hivyo kila kitu sasa imekuwa ni adimu kupatika. Kile hilo. Kenya wanajitokeza sisi tuko pamoja na wakenya. Sisi kama wanazimio tuko pamoja na wakenya. Tulisema jana na nitarudia tena. Tunataka mtu aheshimu haki ya wakenya vile vile haishimu vile wa Kenya waliamua kupande uchaguzi walivobunge ambao walichaguliwa na tikiti ya chama cha Azimio kama wanataka kuvuka mpaka waende na mambo mengine okay wafuate sheria ambayo inatakikana kujizulu rudi kwa wananchi vile vile tunasema waache kuna kwa vyama vya, vya azimio kama jubili party kupitia kwa ile uh, uh, mahakama karagosi ambayo ameonda political party tribunal jubili ni mwanachama wa azimio na walitangaza walifanya mkutano yao na kutewa viongozi wapya waache kuingia ndani hiyo na kuleta uamuzi bandia atakujaribu kunyakuwa jubilee hayo ni mambo ambayo yanaweza kuleta maafa katika taifa letu tumesema wale wabunge wa jubilee ambao wamesema wanataka kuvuka mpaka sababu ya malaya wa siasa waende lakini waache chama cha jubilee ndani ya azimio yote tuko pamoja nataka kuambia wa Kenya shukrani sana kwa ukarimu wenu kwa ujasiri wenu kwa kakamavu wenu kusimama mara na sisi kwa hii vita tuko pamoja na mimi na hakika tutafaulu Asanteni sana we shall give you copies of the statement shortly and should there be any press release